Bum, 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 bum. Anyways, hello you guys. It is I, Akasha Wolf. And today we are going to be talking about coming out of the broom closet. So you're probably thinking, why are you telling me this now when I haven't really learned all this other stuff and you just posted a video on being a witch. And we haven't finished the videos. Which, I will never finish the videos. Okay, never say never. Okay, I will continue doing videos as long as I can do videos, I guess. You know, as long as I can do videos, I'll do videos. But anyways, it's not going to stop after I've, like, basically given you all this information because, like, it's not like I know everything and then I'm going to put everything down in a whole YouTube channel. We'll, we'll Sorry, guys. The guinea pig bit my dog. And my dog would never bite the guinea pig. Ooh, that, that scared me because he made my, my... Hey! No eating the cord! Get back to your freaking corner! Yeah, Chico, stay up there. Stay away from him right now. He's... He's in a biting mood. Get back over here. No! Okay. But anyways, you guys, like, you know, I still have to go through a lot of things with you and everything like that. Um, but yes, right now, I'm doing this because there are people who do do the practice. And even if you're not a witch, but you're pursuing on becoming one, uh, you, you have to be comfortable with your beliefs. You have to be comfortable with being able to share this with people because um, for those of you who understand, you know, the Bible and stuff like that, I know I always bring up, you know, Christian stuff and everything like that, but that's because I had, I, you know, I know about it and I don't think that a lot of witches really put it out there, you know, about, you know, Christianity and, you know, witches and uh, Catholic, being Catholic and stuff like that. Because, um, you know, because it just seems like those two don't mix when that's not the problem, you know. It's just sometimes it does become an issue with certain people and they don't feel that it's something that should be together or practiced all at the same time. But that's the thing, witchcraft is a practice. It's not their religion. Now you can, you know, obtain a religion that, you know, has the witchy practice in it, but witchcraft and magic is magic, you know. Uh, witches are human, you know, just like doctors. So anyways, I use doctors a lot too, I don't know why. So anyways, the point is, is that I'm telling you about this because, you know, God doesn't want you to, not, to deny him. So the craft is basically, you know, a worship of a god, but also being able to, you know, project it in a, a way. You know, you celebrate it and you um, create with it, you know. So, if you deny it, then you think it's going to be as great as a practice, you know. Like, is it going to be sacred and have matter or meaning to it? You have to be able to tell people about this. And I know sometimes it is hard to tell your parents because I do get a lot of stories like this that my parents would think I'm crazy and my parents won't understand or they're really, really Christian or they're really, really, like, you know, religious. And religious is depending on what religion they, you know, that they, they believe in. And people who are really, really religious, you're not that religious if you cannot... If you cannot accept another religion or a certain practice in some sort of way. I'm not saying that that's like saying, well, what if I tell my parents I'm a murderer and they don't understand. I'm not saying that's something that should be understand or that witchcraft is like murder. You know, it's not a crazy thing like murder would be, you know. Um, well, if you came up to your parents and then say, I'm a murderer, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, oh my god, and then be like, who did you kill, and then, you know, you go call cops and stuff like that, but you see, witchcraft isn't murder, and why should it be such a hard thing to try to understand, you know, it's not like you're hurting anybody, you could, you're capable of it, but isn't everybody capable of hurting someone, you know, and this is something, something that, that I feel people should be able to be open about. 
And people who would disown their children for something they believe in, or they feel like practicing, that's ridiculous. Because your child is your child, you know. They came from your... In, within you. They are a part of you. Like, there's no way you can take that away. And disowning a child is just a completely, like, ridiculous and outrageous type of thing. And it does bother me when people would say something like that. And, uh, or pe parents would actually feel that way. It's like, and you call yourself a parent, and then you try to teach me these lessons, and you're just completely being hypocritical about it, you know? And I'm not saying all this out of disrespect. I'm not trying to disrespect parents, because, you know, um, we're, people who watch this are parents themselves, you know? And they have parents. And then your parents have parents, you know? So, like, what the point I'm trying to put out is that, like, you know, how is it so hard to, you know, accept that someone practices witchcraft? You know, there's people that practice... A practice is like, um... Lafayette, get away from me! <laughs> a pra this practice is like being able to do karate, you know? Um, being able to... Uh, play soccer and stuff like that. It's that type of thing. It's an art. It's a practice. It's not a religion. Now, some of the things it's hard for people to understand and stuff like that, and I would be like, I know this is hard for you to accept. You don't have to believe in what I do, but for you to understand that this is what I do, and for you to respect it, I would appreciate it. And to accept that I'm going to practice it, and for you to let me practice it. And it, it, it's not necessary to have permission, but it is a good thing to have. And it is a respectful thing to ask and to tell about it. Now, whether you are going to listen, whether they say yes or no, the point of you asking was respectful. And in some ways, people will see it as disrespectful to go against their wishes. But if this is something you feel passionate about, and that you take seriously, then one day, the, if they, <laughs> I guess, if they're, you know, a good type of person, they will accept it, you know. And I think that that's why it's important for a lot of people to actually learn the craft before um, they actually, you know, proclaim that they do witchcraft. You know, um, until you uh, really understand it and you kind of know what you're talking about, and can actually have a reasonable argument. Do not say, I do witchcraft. You know, do not, like, you know, put it out there. You can say, I'm, I'm learning it, I'm learning witchcraft, but not, I do witchcraft, and I am a witch. You know, it's something that you have to learn and be able to have a reasonable argument about. Not like an argument like, ah, yelling, yelling, anger, and negativity. And there's a lot of things in the Bible about, you know, respect and stuff like that. And that God loves good and bad, you know. And uh, in a lot of ways, it seems like there's a lot of things that pop up to where one thing fights the other thing. Um, but, you see, I try to look at things with a very positive mindset. And I feel that... Even if your religion doesn't like something, it doesn't mean you shouldn't respect it, you know. You can uh, maybe have your thoughts on it and say certain things, but respect, you know. You want to be respected, then you should respect other people. You want your religion to be respected, then you should respect other people. Because even Christianity has people who don't respect it, you know. And uh, it's like, there's a lot of religions that don't have respect. And again, I'm putting religion and witchcraft together, but it seems like that, um, you know, religion does get involved with it, whether you are, you know, Muslim, whether you are Catholic or Christian or Mormon, you know, uh, religion does get involved, your own religion, but put into a practice and actually getting more involved with your religion. And once you, like, accept this type of thing where uh, you respect everything, and then you're at peace, you know, and you don't, you don't feel like you're offending anybody, you're not offended, people won't want to offend you, and people can't fight you with that, you know, you're, because it's a non-violent type of way, and kind of hard to, you know, 
disrespect someone who's going to respect you and respect basically other things you know it's kind of hard to argue with that person it's like there's like nothing wrong with it you know and just like with Martin Luther King you know how even though people would uh, uh, he wanted to act with nonviolence whether violence was used on them even though they might have been like beat and everything when they were doing their sit-ins and stuff like that he would still not be violent and everyone who protested with him would not be violent it's kind of hard to argue with that and it's kind of hard to look like a good person or that um, or to have people reason with you if you do that you know um, people won't be able to really reason with the people who are doing violence but they fall more on Martin Luther King's side Martin Luther King's side and same with Gandhi because that's where um, he got his philosophy was from Gandhi you know, so I guess you could say I look up to ML to MLK, and I look up to Gandhi, and I look up to God and Jesus and the Virgin Mary because their their thoughts on stuff I feel would be respect, and a lot of people have their thought of God, and sometimes you make him into a fearful type of you know character, uh, a very vengeful type person, you know. In some ways, it kind of seems like a way of a child, when I don't feel God is that way. I feel that He loves, you know. Ultimately, everything is love. So being able to come out of the closet and be able to talk about what you do, have reason for it, and um, just when it comes to your parents, letting them know, you know, just tell them and try to make them understand in a way that doesn't seem like you're insane. Like, it's kind of hard to, you know... Uh, put magic or witchcraft apart to somebody because movies do ruin it you know like Harry Potter <laughs> and not that Harry Potter's not a good movie it's a good movie I'm not trying to blame everything on Harry Potter but you know movies like that and stuff like that it's kind of hard to take seriously um, magic and miracle is all but like the same thing and that's how I would put it to them and basically witchcraft is mind over matter so, me, I'm completely open with my religion and my practice. And I feel that I should not deny it in any way. But when people offend it and don't know about it, it bothers me. Like, it really, really bothers me. Because, like, my eye kind of twitches and I'm like ready to freak out because I don't like it when people don't talk about something they do not know about and that when I talk about something I try to read about it and understand it as much as I can so that way I don't look like an idiot and that I have reason for it I have to have reason for stuff that I do I have to have reason for an argument I may start and that's the same thing with everyone else when you're opening yourself up like, I'm actually doing some PowerPoint at school about myself and what most people may not know about me. And I put there that, you know, I do witchcraft. And that I, um, you know, I'm a pagan and all this other stuff. You know, uh, that might seem like a very, I guess, outrageous, conceited thing to do. But I just, you know, felt like it. It's not like anyone would really care and if they do then that's their problem and uh... like i'm not i guess you can say i'm not all that social usually if uh, someone talks to me then i'll talk to them you know because they want to get to know me and uh... that's not usually how it works like you know sometimes there's people that i'll just you know walk up to and start talking to i've been doing that a lot lately um, you know i've been making friends but it doesn't matter to me what they think if they think negatively about it then fine that's fine you know that's your problem not mine and then if they don't like it well I don't need their approval to be who I am and to believe in what I believe I do not need their approval it's my belief it's how I feel about it they don't like it that's fine they don't need to be my friend you know it's like I must not matter all that much if you can't accept that about me not saying you should be a witch too like I'm not gonna push what I believe onto you I'm not gonna say well uh, that's not true your religion's wrong because of this and that whatever no 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 
I will respect your religion. I will not try to push mine on to you. But for you to know and understand this is what I believe, it's just my, what I believe. I guess you can say it's just my opinion. But the thing is, is that I am very, very open with what I, who I am, what I believe, and there's no doubt about it. People will see my symbols. I wear it freely anywhere I go. People may see, see my symbols and think, oh my god, she's a devil worshiper. But you know what? You're an idiot because you do not know about it if you think it's a devil sign. You know, you don't know that much if you think it's a devil sign. And you do not care to know because you will not ask, you know? And that's why it's good to ask questions. I know I'm using idiot and that seems like a very negative word. But it's the way for you guys to understand the, the point and the level of what I'm meaning about this. I do not... I do not try to hate... I do not like the word hate. Because hate is just as strong as the word is love, but in a negative way. And um, maybe I can dislike somebody very much, but I do not hate them. It's not really... It's not good to hate, you guys. And it's it creates more emotions in you. Other gross emotions, like jealousy, you know? And, um... When people say, God is a jealous God, I think that, you know, he doesn't like, you know, certain things and stuff like that. Uh, this meaning any God, uh, but I feel that God isn't all that jealous, because jealous isn't a really good thing, you know, or hate. Um, I feel things is divine and sacred. But when it comes to coming out of the closet, or people will ask you about your symbols, and you say, well, yeah, I'm a witch. And then they're like, you believe in magic? And um, my response, which I have, have been asked this before, is I believe in mind over matter. I believe in energy. You know, I believe, I, like, if you believe in God and stuff, just tell them, I believe in God, you know. And, um, yeah, but my, my response was, I believe in mind over matter. Because that's what witchcraft is, too. It's mind over matter. And... When I said that, they're like, oh, you're smart, you're smart. And I really liked that. It was really, it was really, it was funny, but I liked it, you know. And that was showing that I didn't sound insane because the word magic isn't really taken seriously. Um, but when you put it in that way, it's kind of easier for, you know, people to take it better. Especially if you're not going to be talking them to them to them that much and if you are going to explain it you know deeper and better to them um but yeah so i wonder if i'd like you know pull that off for you guys but that's basically how i feel about the whole thing with coming out of the closet um if some of you don't want to because you don't know how people are going to react and what people don't stick around because people who do not stick around and they find out you're a witch and they're like oh my god you know, you're the spawn of Satan, and I do not want to be near you, or that's against my religion to be near you, or something like that. That's not true. And they must not be that much of a friend if they can easily leave you that way just because of something that you believe in. You know, I've had people who believe in the devil. You know, I've had friends who believe in the devil, and they worship the devil. But I respect what they believe, and... I don't, you know, necessarily judge them, you know, just because you believe in the devil, you know, um, it doesn't mean you're altogether a bad person, you know, uh, it's just, I don't discriminate, I guess, you know, but yeah, that's the point I try to get across to you guys, and it, it can be a very serious thing and a hard thing to do to come out, um, just like how some people might have certain fetishes, or, you know, some people, like, people the same sex you see that's not a problem either you know it's you know what they like and that's theirs you know and respect that I just truly believe in respect for all religions and stuff like that witchcraft is not a bad thing and people who can't accept that that's what you believe and just absolutely like want nothing to do with you then that's fine they don't they don't accept it I don't need your approval I don't and that's just all it boils down to you guys you just need to learn that 
This is who you are, what you are, what you believe, and embrace it. And let people know, you know, this is what I believe, this is who I am, and there's nothing you can do about it, you know? Um, but yeah, you guys, this is something I feel passionate about. And for those of you who enjoy the craft and who are fellow witches, I'm sure you love and enjoy it as well, and you feel very passionate about it. And I'm sure that eventually a lot of those people that you want to accept it will probably come around. And if they don't, then that's their problem, not yours. You can make it your problem, I guess, but it's not necessarily your problem. It's theirs because they're the ones that have the problem with it. And they need to look deeper into their own religion. So, bye you guys. And blessed be.